Welcome back to MPT. Today we're talking about the essential information you need to know about when choosing a phased array. We talk about the five ways that phased arrays win compared to the alternatives. In the white paper link below, I provide very detailed information about these five ways that phased arrays win, plus the bonus of a sixth way that phased arrays win. So be sure to check that out after the video. Get your product to market faster with a custom phased array solution from MPT Corp. Hi, my name is Rick Sturdivant. I'm the president of Microwave Products and Technology. I'm here to talk about something that's pretty important. Five reasons that phased arrays win for LEO satellite communication systems. So your first question may be, what's a LEO satellite communication system? The Starlink system being developed by Elon Musk is a perfect example. What is that system? Well, it's a constellation of satellites that, that are orbiting the Earth in low, low orbit. This means that they appear to a user on the face of the Earth as coming over a horizon, then continuing and hitting zenith over the user and then disappearing over the other horizon. Now, most people are familiar with uh, geostationary satellites, such as the satellite TV networks that are out there. And what do you do? You take your antenna and you put it on your on your top of your house and you move it around to your position on the geostationary satellite and you tighten down the bolt and it's fixed and then you can use it for years. You never have to worry about it. But you can't do that with these LEO satellites. Why? Because they go from horizon to horizon dynamically and they're only visible for 15 minutes, 12 minutes. And uh, and you've got to be able to maintain contact with that satellite. You could sit on your roof and move your antenna dynamically with your hands, but who's ever going to do that? No one. Uh, the only alternative is to have an antenna that moves and uh, and tracks a satellite. Now that movement can be mechanical or that movement, movement can be electronic. There are several reasons why electronically scanned arrays win over mechanically scanned arrays. In fact, there's five reasons, and I'm gonna go through those now. The first reason is that electronically scanned arrays allow for fast beam switching, which uh, mechanically scanned arrays just can't do. So that means that I can move my beam in milliseconds or even microseconds, whereas uh, mechanically scanned arrays, in order to move the, the beam, they've gotta move mechanically, and it just takes time. Imagine you're, you're moving your mechanical array and the satellite you're tracking disappears over one horizon. Now you've got to slew mechanically to another position to grab another satellite and it just takes time. It takes seconds to do that. Whereas in electronically scanned arrays, it takes milliseconds to microseconds to, uh, to move your antenna pattern. The second reason that electronically scanned arrays win is that they allow for your antenna beam to dither around the position of the satellite. And that's a, that's a very important advantage. Why? Because as you're tracking your, the satellite from horizon to horizon, you can zip around the position where you think the satellite is and take eight or 16 beam positions. And then you choose the beam position with the highest signal level and that becomes your updated position for the satellite. That allows for auto tracking of the satellite as it moves from horizon to horizon. So you can get, you can get very precise location of the satellite as a function of time. The third reason that phased arrays win over mechanically scanned arrays is that they allow for dynamic beam pattern changes. You can change your, your beam in an in electronically scanned array from uh, every few milliseconds. You could change from an antenna beam that's a sum beam where you have one main pattern to, to an antenna beam that's a difference in, uh, pattern where you have a null in the middle and that allows you to also uh, take advantage of some tracking methods that, that exist. Where you cannot do that with a mechanically scanned array, you're fixed, you're stuck with one beam pattern with a mechanically scanned array. The fourth reason that, that phase arrays win over uh, mechanically scanned arrays is that electronically scanned arrays allow for multiple simultaneous antenna beams. That turns out to be a very important advantage and, and you'll catch it when I describe it here. Imagine that this LEO satellite is going from horizon to horizon, but there's not going to be, there may not be just one satellite. There may be two or three or more. With a mechanically scanned array, you've got to have, if you're looking for, to track two satellites, you have to have two mechanically scanned arrays, one pointing at one end, one satellite, another one pointing at another satellite. But with, with uh, an electronically scanned array, you can have one antenna 
with multiple beams. I can have a beam pointing to one satellite, maybe in the near the horizon where another satellite can be pointing to it and it's at zenith let's say and a third satellite that's maybe towards the the opposite horizon and i can do all of those uh track all those satellites and communicate with them simultaneously with the phase array but you can't do that with a mechanically scanned array without having multiple mechanically scanned arrays which is uh expensive and and even more unreliable. The fifth reason uh, that phase arrays win is because they're more reliable than mechanically scanned arrays. Why? Because electronically scanned arrays have no mechanical moving parts. Mechanically scanned arrays have bearings and, and bushings and moving parts, but phase arrays only have electronics, and electronics are, are much more reliable. And phased arrays have this very interesting phenomenon called graceful degradation, which means if one antenna element in the array, because there may be a thousand elements in the array, if one element fails, the array doesn't stop. And whereas for a mechanically scanned array, if your L and B dies, guess what? You're done. Your mechanically scanned array just dies. But for a, an electronically scanned array, you have graceful degradation, which means you have, over time, if you have failures, you'll have slight degradation in your G over T and slight degradation in your ERP, which means your data rate and other important parameters will just slowly degrade over time instead of having this catastrophic failure that you would have with a mechanically scanned array. So those are five reasons that electronically scanned arrays win over mechanically scanned arrays. And here at MPT, we have been developing electronically scanned arrays for many years now. We have experts in antenna design, and TR module design, we have flat panel arrays, we have, uh, for instance, demonstrated a multi-simultaneous beam phase array to the U.S. Air Force, we have Lundberg Lens solutions, we just have a slew of phased array techniques and methods that we have developed over the years, and we look forward to having a conversation with you about our solutions. If this video was helpful, then check out my white paper link below. In it, I provide a sixth way that phased arrays win. This is critical information that you need to know to be successful with your phased array. In addition, if you're looking for a phased array partner, then consider us. We'll help you get your phased array product to market faster.